Welcome to the BHB Trilogy Podcast with your host, Beast, Hot Sauce, and Buckets. What's going on, guys? This is the BHB Trilogy Podcast, episode 10. I'm your host, Hot Sauce, with Buckets and Beast. Today, we're going to be reviewing several things that happened over the course of last month and some this month. And our first thing is our water rocket challenge. Now, what we had to do was obviously make water rockets and... We, li- we did this also to learn for educational purposes, like Newton's Laws of Motion. So uh, we had three different categories, best decoration, performance, and design. Each of us won one. But uh, it was fun. Now, Buckets, what did you win? I won best design. Why did you win best design? Because I'm the best designer. <laughs> Why was your rocket? <laughs> Why was your rocket like designed well like what what made it so good like it was a shark and it was cool no that's that's like decoration wise like i yeah. i won that but like why is yours design it was a shark okay okay beast you won best performance best performance yes why did you win that like yours went the highest but why did why did you do that uh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> what? what is Newton's uh, first law of motion? Um, I don't know. It's uh, so it's in that video I edited. You know, shameless plug. Go watch that on uh, Ivy Brainiacs Facebook and YouTube, and go subscribe to Beach for Children. But uh, on YouTube, first law of Newton's uh, first law of Newton's laws of motion is. Anything with no, that's not the one. Um, anything, nah, I forgot it too. I, I smell like an I don't hour need to say it, it then. It was, um, mine was anything with an action as a reaction. Yours was, oh, that's what it was. Anything at rest will stay at rest. That's the that's first mine. one. That's yours, yes. Anything yours. at rest will stay at rest unless it something an acts external on force it. acts on it. Yes, that is the third law. Now, uh, yours got best performance because it went the highest. Yours, I think yours was the lightest out of everyone's. Mine came really close, but Bucket's water rocket went far away. Yeah, so hers went kind of straight up and came down. Bucket's went like that way. Mine went that <laughs> Mine didn't his, go high. His um, fins were never fell off. Yeah, my fins fell off. But I got best decoration because mine looked closest to a shark. Unlike but theirs, I don't know what theirs was. It was, it was like a mutated shark. It looked very terrible. But um, that was our Rotter Rocket competition of 2018. So second topic of today will be the first week of school for everyone. So you entered my school looking nervous and shy. Why is that? Because I have no friends. Why don't you have any friends? Because my parents forced me to move to a school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where did all your friends go? To a different school. And you miss your friends? Yes. You still play Fortnite with them, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what did you say to your friends? Like, I mean, do you have any friends now? No. <laughs> yes, Tyler. <laughs> um... What what did you say to them? Like, did they ask you anything? No. They didn't want to like hang out with you. Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, Buck. I mean, Beast. What? How was it like being at school without any relatives? It was fine. Fine. Cause yeah. she has friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. But uh, my best friend is moving next year. Who's that? Kayla. Oh. That's only one friend, though. No. We have other friends. Yeah. Friends. Um, well, this is my last year for high school, so uh, I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts until I have to do stuff my father forces me to do. But, uh, and forces you to move to a new school. Yeah. School that I want to go to. I'm like, one school that I went to this year. But, um... 
our goals for the new school year. We have to review that. Our we did our vision boards this year. We do that. We've been doing that for like the past four years, I think. Uh, Bucket, what was on yours? Um, get straight A's. And there's like three things. Get fast and read the Bible more. That's good. That's good. Uh, beast. Now you have no complaining, crying, or whining. Uh, 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 be disciplined. And I, I'm going to read one million words by March 31st to 2019. Alright, my goals, um, it's very good goals. My goals are get better upper body strength because you see these noodles right here. Like those noodles, right, Mom? Right? Yeah, kind of like. Um, also, get closer to God. You know, read the Bible, pray every day before you go to bed, you know, after you wake up. And then, um, get a thousand YouTube subscribers. So, another shameless plug go subscribe to BHP Chillers. We do gaming, and don't we do. Eat junk food. Yeah, no junk food either. That was one of them. So, uh, yeah, go subscribe to BHP Chillers. We're going for a thousand subscribers this year. Uh, yeah. And now, a quick break from our sponsors. All right, welcome back to the Beach Patrillery Podcast, episode 10. I'm your host, Hot Sauce, Buckets, and Beast. Uh, now, we've reviewed two topics. Now, on to our third. So, our morning routine we've been doing for eight days. I don't like it. Um, I love it. We have to wake up at 6 a.m. every morning and do yoga and meditate and gratitude statements and an I am statement. And then today would be awesome if statement... But, um, Buckets, you like doing this? No. Yeah, I don't like doing it either, because you have to wake up at 6 a.m. just to stretch. Uh, Beast, do you like doing it? Yes, and my dad said if I do it for a month, I get a bit bit. Yeah, uh, whatever dad says. Okay. Um, uh, I don't like it. Uh, obviously, I already said it, because I don't like waking up at 6 a.m. every morning and doing stretches. But you can't better get used to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it for a month. I'm going to go back to sleep. But now, not our fourth long. topic. Football. Now, football season is going to start. We have a fantasy football league on my school, and we have to... We haven't decided the winner, like, what the winner's going to get, but we have decided what the loser's going to get. It's like a t-shirt with a unicorn on it. And it says I suck at fantasy football, and they're gonna have to take a picture with it and like wear it like after school I want when it. they're waiting for their mom or something. And um, Amat, Bishop Amat, my mom's home school. First game of the state. Wait, they lose the first game of the season. Second but, game. No wait, no, they lost the first game. Well, they won the first game. No, they lose their first game of the season for going for a win instead of a tie. Yeah. Gosh. Our podcast. But, yeah, they lost. So, you know, we all feel bad. But we're going to have Coach Chewy Hernandez on this podcast sometime next week, maybe in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to have legendary Felipe Hernandez talking about his life death experiences and his trips all around the world. Coach Chewy Hernandez or Coach Chewy is actually... Dominic's Jason Colas from our other podcast is dad. Yeah, so if you stay tuned, if you've like been engaged to our podcast and everything, you'll notice that episode six or five, uh, three kids, Koa, Dom, and Jay were on this podcast. So if and you, it's her dad going to be on yeah, it Yes, their father, coach for Bishop Omar for junior varsity, I think. Or is it junior or varsity? Varsity, varsity O line coach. So, uh, on to the next thing. USC, dad's home school, wins opener, and it's their 17th straight game at home. I was at like every single one last year, so you need to get used to it, you know? And uh, JT Daniels from Modern Day uh, is the first ever USC, I mean, second USC freshman to start since Mark, uh, Mark Barkley, so. That's very interesting, too. And during the game, JT Daniels threw a pass to Amon Ra. 
St. Brown, which is his former teammate from modern day. So he threw a touchdown pass to him. So that was pretty, uh, that was pretty cool to see. He's also another, he's also a true freshman from modern day. Um, stats for the game. Paper right here. USC won 42-21. Um, not that much to say after you win by 20 points, but. JT Daniels had 282 yards. And how do you say this? The, the starting running back? How do you say his name? Uh, Cedric Ware. Cedric Ware had 10 carries for 100 yards. It's pretty good. And JT mm, Daniels is also in the top 10 for rushing yards. He had. Wait, never mind. He had negative one yard. Never mind. <laughs> um, USC receiving Amin Ra St. Brown has 98 yards for seven rece- uh, seven receptions and Tyler Vons had, was also from Bishop Omat who got coached by Chuy Hernandez which we're going to have on the podcast also Trayvon Sidney was on Omat they both well, Tyler Vons had four receiving uh, receptions Trayvon had three. Uh, Trayvon had seventy yards. Tyler Vance had thirty-seven. So that's that's it for the USC stats. Now, buckets thoughts on the USC win. Will will they? I mean, but thoughts on USC the upcoming year. Will you think they'll still be ranked after this? Yes. How many games do you think they'll win? I think they'll only lose three. Uh, or beast. Four. Beast. Uh, how many games are there? It's like 15, right? How many? 13. 13. 13. No, but 13. Like they had 15 last year. Right? They'll only use three like buckets and they'll win the rest. I think they'll only lose four. I think. Cause none... Three or four because like new quarterback. Uh, different team. It's a way different team last year. Right? Like way different. Still have confidence in them, though. But NFL news, Sam Donalds is the starting quarterback for the New York Jets, who also went to USC. He's very talented. And he's the youngest, youngest starting quarterback in the league. That's also very good. Uh, that's it. That's our fourth topic. That's it for this podcast. Uh, stay tuned for next time. Ne- I think next time Sign probably Coach off. Chewy. Yeah. Next time, we'll probably be Coach Chewy Hernandez or Legendary Felipe Hernandez. Go subscribe to Ali A. <laughs> Go subscribe to BHP Trilogy on YouTube. We do gaming, we do reviews, all that stuff that you guys like. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to hit the goal of 1,000 subscribers. So this is the BHP Trilogy Podcast with Hot Sauce Buckets and Beats. Signing off. Sign